Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all good? I hope so. Listen, y'all, I want to do a quick story time. It's sort of like a core memory. Okay. So one day I was helping my grandma shell peas and I miss those days. I used to love when she would ask if I wanted to help her because during those times, those were, those were some of the best conversations, right? So we were just sitting out there laughing and talking and my friend came over. They lived across the street from my grandma about mm, two doors down, I think. And you could tell that something was bothering her and my grandma got straight to it. We're going to call my friend Celeste. So grandma says, what's wrong with you now, Celeste? You are one of the most young, old, stressed out folks I ever seen, baby. So Celeste says, well, we were all sitting there watching Soul Food and it was on the scene where they were talking about selling the house and people were looking to Terry for the money. So I said, it's so messed up when people always have their hand out, but never offer to help or try to help, but get mad when you say no. Then my sister going to say, well, I know you ain't talking about me because I don't ask nobody for nothing. And Celeste was like, I couldn't figure out what she was talking about because I wasn't even talking about her. I was talking about the movie. My grandma was just staring at Celeste. And then she said, go get a bucket. Because if you're going to sit up here in all this unnecessary anger, you might as well be helping us shell these peas. So she go get the bucket and my grandma fill it up. But she don't say nothing. Then Celeste says, big mama, which is what she called my grandma. And that was crazy because she called my big mama Gigi. I know. Don't ask me why. I don't know. But anyway, she says, big mama, what did you mean by unnecessary anger? My grandma said, your anger was unnecessary because if you knew you weren't talking about her, you should have just ignored her. She was hit, baby. So you have to learn to ignore miserable people. So Celeste was like, I be trying, big mama. I promise you I be trying, but I be getting mad. So my grandma said, and what happened after you got mad? And Celeste was just looking. So she asked her again, what happened, Celeste, after you got mad? She said, nothing. I left the house and I saw y'all sitting out here on the porch. So I came over. My grandma, she do this little slow nod. And then she says, so you got mad. So first, y'all got into an argument. You got mad. Stop watching the movie that you were enjoying. You left the house. She said, yes, ma'am. So my grandma asked her, where's your sister? Celeste said, still watching the movie? Grandma was like, right. Still over there watching the movie, having a good time, laughing and talking. Nothing changed for her. But everything changed for you because you let misery in. I was like, dang, grandma, this is getting good. <laughs> so Celeste said, what does that mean? So my grandma tells her, Celeste, do you know how to spot a hit dog? She said, no, ma'am. My grandma says, well, let me tell you how, okay? And this is just one example of many. So when you make a general statement and somebody says, I know she's not talking about me or what is she talking about? I don't even do anything to anybody. That's the hit dog. The hit dog is miserable because it's in pain and that pain can be different for each dog. But all of them are miserable and misery loves company. And one thing misery going to do is stop to pick up attention. And then they going to swing by and get seeking. Now, if they pull up at your house and you let them in, you become food. And you know what y'all became together? And Celeste was like, <laughs> no. And I'm way too. Because like I said, this getting good. Baby, that lady said, <laughs> some miserable, attention-seeking fools. <laughs> Baby, me and the peas almost rolled off their porch. Because <laughs> I was like, 
what? I couldn't stop laughing. I was like, this lady is crazy. She comes up with so much stuff, but it makes sense. She said, while you were arguing with her, knowing you weren't talking about her, you made yourself look as simple as she was. And evidently, what you said is who she is. Because if she wasn't, she wouldn't have felt the need to start barking at such a general statement. Baby, after that conversation, I started making it a point to avoid unnecessary anger or people who tried to get attention off the smallest things because time is too precious. I don't have time to prove anything to anybody but myself. I am not here to babysit grown folks. I am the queen of ignoring folks. I get that honestly. And just like Pac said, I can make you hate me before you love me. I'm not here for the foolishness and I won't waste my time on it. Just like today, a clown got in the comments under one of the videos questioning the baby's paternity. And y'all know what situation I'm talking about. I didn't waste my time entertaining that clown because I am not Barnum and Bailey. So they'll have to take that energy somewhere else. I politely block them because I don't have time for that. And I'm not going to give time for it. But yeah, y'all, I just wanted to share that core memory with y'all. And let me know, have you ever had to deal with any hit dogs in your personal life who left you like asking or thinking, where is all of this negative energy coming from? And why is it coming my way? Y'all get down in the comments. Let me know. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll talk to y'all later.